hey guys welcome back to another video hope everybody's doing fine so well that's what i could say hope you're all doing fine in this quarantine um time so i know that a lot of people all over the world have to stay home some people laid off their jobs our schools is out and the kids are home and parents are finding it difficult i mean you know because this whether you like it yes or no this thing is affecting a lot of people financially socially physically all the alleys it's affecting everybody because some people are not working none at all while some people have their um hours um cut down and on the other side you still have your bills to pay you know even though in some states or some countries you know government are waiving some fees like mortgages and um loans and all of that but when all this is said and done you all still have to pay them late fee and all of that crap so this is really really affecting everybody and i just want you guys to stay home and be safe follow what they said you are supposed to do if they say no gathering then please stay home no gathering because this thing is very serious and i don't know when how long it's going to take for us to realize in that the more we stay in is the better for us you understand follow what your government um is asking you all to do because it's the best for you best for your kids and best for everybody you understand although i think to myself that nothing is going to heal this land until god has forgiven us of all our sins that we have committed you know and yet still the guns are still blazing in other parts of the world because in jamaica there's a lot of even though this thing is going on people still have no regards for life the guns are still blazing babies are still dying you know what i mean just the other day i heard that tommy lee's daughter um was involved in a crossfire i mean the, his nephew died and his daughter gets shot up and all of that crap nobody have no regard for nothing i don't realize what if these people don't see what is really going on it's like it's like instead of the virus killing us it's just we fighting against our one another to kill one another so me i'm home with my child i try to make sure that he have the teacher they sent work on on online for him to do and i just put together a short little video to show you guys what you know he have been doing and how I try to make him, uh, you know, not being bored at home. Because, you know, they will get bored at times. So I try to make sure that he's not, he have a little time here and there to do every little thing. You know what I mean? So guys, just just be safe. And, you know, I don't know how long this is going to last. But all you guys have to do is just pray, pray, and pray. Because this thing is evil. This is demonic. I don't know if you all don't see that. This thing come to kill steal and destroy and that's exactly what he's doing and people are you know people are people are just not taking heed people still doing people still on their wicked ways and you know they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing if they say isolate yourself just isolate yourself you came from somewhere you know that that place has been affected with the virus you know just stay home don't go there try to um infect other people with your virus you know what i mean stay home man Try to keep yourself safe. Stay off the street. Do what you got to do. Make sure you have enough food in your home to um, serve you just in case this thing lasts longer than we think. You know, I'm just sorry for the kids, you know, because, you know, and then, you know, this thing make you too, and this thing make you open your eyes a lot because you're home with family and friends and sometimes you didn't know that, you know, especially your spouse, your spouse you know, you didn't know certain things about them until you are locked together and all of that crap you all get to realize what type of person he really 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 is there's some things that was hidden but now it's really really coming out and even about your kids too and i know some especially teenagers they probably become bored because they're not used to being home this long and all of that crap you need to get out but guys safety is first you understand if we need to get this thing under control we all got to work together and do what we must do and what we have to do and in the meantime, I'm just wanting to know, please wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Protect your kids, protect the older, the vulnerable, protect everybody, you understand? And I hope we all could work through this and and see what is going to be the outcome of this. In the meantime, in the meantime I just wish for you all the best um, during this time, during this um, crisis that we all are facing right now. Because I know a lot of people... Staying home is not doing no good for them. Losing their job is not doing good, doing no good for them when the bills got to be paid. And the bills got to be paid. Trust me, it is really, really hard. And I understand that. I could understand that. But guys, please just keep the faith and roll out and just, you know, just keep on praying to God. And so for the best. In the meantime, 
Here's, here's my little video of what I do for my child at home. I hope you guys trying to do something like that. Or if you have any better ideas, please share it. Until then, I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. So, hey guys. So, my child is home. As many other kids is home, right? So, his teacher sent him some work online to do. It's the app is IXL. Um, it's not like I it's a big thing, but then when you you have a lot of stuff in it. So let me see something. Let me see if I could show you all the little things that are there on on this um app. And it's further broken down into a lot of stuff. So he sign in. He sign in right there. Uh, he sign in. And then it takes him. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's sign in with Clever and see what happened. Sign in up top. And then it takes him to there. And then. That's what pop up after. But there's a lot of other stuff that he can do. But on this uh, right here, he got a lot of stuff. He got math. He got language arts. He got science, he got social studies, he got um, FLA standards, I don't know what it's supposed to mean, I'll check on it when I'm done. And then at the end when he has completed a lesson, he gets some awards and he'll click on that and he'll see his awards, okay? So I'll go back right here to language arts, right? And I click on language arts, he's a second grader of course. So there you have a list of stuff that he could do. Reading um, foundation and honor that he got syllables, rhyming words, or he could go short and long vowels, control vowels, and the list goes on and on. And then if he's not want to do mathematics, he can go for language arts. He could do go to math. He click on mathematics. And then again, he's a second grader, so you will see all the stuff coming up for our second grade. He got counting and patterns, subtraction, two digits, and time and all of that crap a lot of stuff coming up so i gotta say shout out um to his teacher for doing this and i set him up a little corner where he can work from a little corner where there's no distraction there's no noise there's nothing he's finding that corner and i'm going to show you the corner in a minute i was telling you this is a little corner that i put him to stay in and um he just sit right here and away from the distraction and i got a little light there just in case night comes and he's not finished what he's doing so he can turn on that little light and sit in the corner and here's a closer look at the rest of the apps that are on the thingy so you can scroll down and go into anything that you want to open and let your child do work from whatever whatever you choose from okay and as I tell you before this was the one he was using the IXL this is the one that he was using earlier so when you open that, it'll take you right there too. It'll take you right there to his login page and you log in from there and do what you have to do from there. So this is his little corner where he works from. There is no distraction. There is no noise. And, you know, I have to say again, thanks to the teacher for helping us out in times like these. And that's where my kiddo work from. This is little Dex, his crayon, his books. And he have a little lamp over there and whatever he need he put on his headphone and that's where he work from okay guys so i hope you guys are doing similar things at home with your child just to help them because you know you cannot let them stay at home and cannot do nothing you understand because they're going to go back where you you're trying to bring them from so they have to the process the learning process continue even though school is out on this lockdown which I don't know how long things is going to be back to normal, but guys, let's just let's just keep our fingers crossed that school will reopen back as soon as possible while it is safe for the authorities to do so, okay? And I wish you guys all the best. I'm out. And then these are little games, board games that I bought, and I try to help him as much as I can. This one is fun. This one is um a lot of fun. And you see, this one is like... um. I think that where he a lot of words are in it, and he learned to make sentences from these words that come on the on this right here. And then there's another little game right there that 
he play by himself i don't really help him to play that because he could play that on his own this one is the um jigsaw puzzle that i help him with 500 piece and it's very difficult up until now we try to still put the pieces together to get the picture like that and these are his cards this is another games that i bought um just to help him out so that he don't get bored while he's at home and then we really don't go outside because i don't want him to really you know go outside there it's just not safe for him so i try to keep him in we go for a little walk now and then when i can and when i have the time to do so but if i don't have the time then he's going to remain indoors which i think is going to much safer for him you know what i mean and then in between this he get a little break to eat a little snack and then he can sit and he can watch a little movie we can watch a little movie together and then that's it for the day and tomorrow if i'm not tired we continue on the same routine again you know what i mean so i hope this routine you know help you to build a better relationship with your kids at home i know it's hard but guys hey we have to do what we have to do we cannot leave everything on teachers like um that so as parents we have to play our part and i hope you guys do what you have to do to make sure that you know they stay at home and they're eating healthy they get what they want they're learning in the process also not only to sit at home playing games watching tv and all of that crap so that's just my little routine with my child for for now i hope you guys have anything if you have anything that you can share then feel free to do so or you know drop whatever you think in the comment section then i'll see you guys i'm out bye